welcome back friends last video session we have um, the seen how to save a product how to get a particular product now we are going to add more methods a transactional i want to get all products get products follow without parameter then the repository method having one method uh, sorry the repository interface having a uh, method called find all find all that returns iteratable that is an iteratable object iteratable product product iteratable okay now iteratable dot okay this iteratable not returning the collection but it's a okay I want to return this as a list instead of um, uh, returning iteratable I want to return as a list what we have to do for that we need to override this method okay this method by default this method iteratable if you, if you want to use this iteratable the problem here is I need to um, iterate each product then I need to add that product in the list then that list I need to return to the client I don't want this long process just I want to uh, override this method I want to override this method in my uh, product repository right click generate in the IntelliJ there is a right click generate override method you can give uh, find all override instead of returning iteratable just say list So if you say like this, the find all method um, convert the title table to list object. That list object we can get it here. List product products. Then return products. Now fetching all products method is implemented next one is i want to delete the particular product just copy this delete product long product id find by product i am going to fetch the finding the product id from the database if the product is matched return the result i am taking that product then I want to delete the product. Now I want to delete the product. The same repository object, you can say product dot delete. Oh, we have another method product delete by ID also there. Okay, so we can use that method instead of doing this uh, uh, this line of code. We can remove this code directly. You can pass product ID. So the Spring Boot JPI will delete the product. This will not return any uh, any uh, uh, value, I think. Yeah, it's return void, so I'm not returning anything. Next method is delete all, delete products. So I don't, I remove this parameter, then delete all. Okay, now. I created a uh, one, two, three, four, five method. Each method will do some code operation. Okay, the save product will do save or update the product, get product, fetch the particular product pro by providing particular product ID, get products, return all the products available from the database, delete product, delete particular product provided by product ID. Uh, then delete products 
delete all the product now we need to use this uh, but methods in our controller class okay why error here why this error is coming some error is coming okay okay i am not semicolon dog okay return product return product i need return list right i need return list here okay so returning the products now i want to use this method call this method in my stock management controller this add method i'll going to change as a save product the mapping url is a save then here i'll going to remove all the stuff also i don't want this method now i don't want list now instead of list i need to declare auto wire private product service now here we need to say product service dot save product of product i think this other information not required the last session i have explained about that so in this example those headers are not required now now save product i am calling the save product whenever client send the request body part of request body they are sending product information that product information i am passing into save product method save product method saving that information to in our database so the, this product class mapped with the product table that's the reason it's saving into product table okay then get mapping using this get mapping i want to fetch all the products here i can say product service dot get products that's it i want to view particular product here going to remove this product product equal to product service sorry product service dot get product of product id as a parameter now i want to update product the same thing just remove these lines product service dot product service dot save product new product information new product information just i am returning that uh, displaying that product in the client side mm. so client sending the updated product information they want to change something so they are they are changing something in the product data that data coming as a this in this product object i am passing that product object part of save product that will going to update the product in this case it will going to update the product updated value returning here that value i am uh, printing back to in my client side then delete all products here simply say product service dot delete products then product id i want delete particular product id just remove everything product service dot delete by delete product then product id this not returning any value so we don't have to return anything okay now we have completed integration of s2 database in our controller classes okay controller classes use the product service method the product service method having a various method call each method call performing a particular db operation for example add you can make it as add only here okay because we have a separate uh, method called update here right that is update product we can keep it as update product here but we'll keep it as a add only okay and we don't want to change anything but in the both the method we are using a same save product for update also 
for uh, adding a new product also we are using the same service method instead of service method we are using same serve method this repository class use the serve, serve method which is predefined method that method used for updating a existing product deleting a new product sorry updating a existing product adding a new product okay okay now we are going to uh, start start my application start our server we will see okay server is started when you look at here uh, h2 console h2 console available at in this path right so if you want to view the database we need to use this url our local host is a 8080 you can say local host 8080 slash h2 console when you say h2 console it will open a one user interface is a h2 browser user interface when you look at uh, configuration property file application property file here i mentioned username equal to sa password is a empty this is the default username provided by h2 database password is a empty so just uh, username already populated with the sa password is empty just connect it now connected when you click this select statement is coming here run it there is no product now now i will going to add a new product for add a new product the controller class i want to use this particular endpoint when you look at the history there is only one post method okay um, I am going to be using that. Mm -hmm. no, no. I close all, close, don't save. The, history, uh, the last session I will show some example, right? Just to use that because I want to construct again URL or this uh, JXML. That is JSON request. Everything coming as a JSON. JSON. No. Everything coming as coming. Ah, here is a JSON request. Okay. I want to use this request. Uh, if you go to history, uh, you will it will display all the endpoint you worked already. That history is maintained. From the history, I am picking one. Um, I endpoint here post method this already have a, a request a request body I since our um, our product product ID is auto increment right our product ID is auto increment okay it automatically increase whenever I add a product so you don't have to mention the product ID okay remove that just you have to mention product name product price and the stock count now I'll go to send. Let's see what's happening. Okay, status code 200. That means it went success. So let's see the database. I'll go to run. Run now. As of now, we are showing the no rows. Share no rows. See one ice cream 100. Product stock count six. I want to add one more product. Short 400 stock count is 10. Status 200. Run it. Add the product. So I will going to add three more product. T short 215. Then Mm. Toy type 1 400 quantity 30. How many product added? One more product I want to add. Snacks 30 and 10.
Okay. Now, add add five product. Okay. Hmm? Now I want to uh, you now the bad. This endpoint working perfectly. I will going to whenever call this whenever uh, call this particular endpoint, this method get invoked and is saving the product. Now I want to display all the product. For that we need to use this particular endpoint. Okay, just uh, just use the same. Okay, get products sent. See here, all products are coming here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five products are displaying here. Now I want to update one product. Okay, uh, no, no, I want to display one product by product ID. There is a one, two, three, four, five. The database I want display T-shirt. Third product I want to display. For that, what I have to do? Product slash product ID. See, I'm I'm displaying. It's fetching only that product. Now I want to display fifth product. For that. Just add a product ID. Product slash product ID. Is the product. Now I want to update this product. I want to update this product quantity as a twenty, product price as a fifty. So go back to post method. Go back to post method. Change it to put. Since you are updating, you change it to put. Uh, I want to uh, update this product ID. Product ID five. Price as a fifty. Product stock count as a twenty. See here, it's a thirty and a ten is displaying here now. When I run, it's displayed a thirty and a twenty. Here I change the fifty and a twenty. Now I'm going to update. I got some error. No, for add we need to. Sorry, I put add. You should not put add, right? Which product you want to update? I want to update fifth product, right? I want to update fifth product just to add the put method. Uh, so it will go to invoke this particular method, update product. Update product. Since I am passing the put method, it's called this method. This method uh, passing this new product information. And updating the product information. After updating that new product, returning here, I am returning back to client side. Let's see. I am passing fifth one. I change the product price and the stock count. Now it will work. See, uh, status is a two hundred. Uh, updated with the new value. When you look at the database, it will show the same. I am run again the query. C fifty or twenty, so update also working fine. Then I need to delete a particular product. I want to delete a particular product. Let's see, I want to delete T-shirt. I want to delete T-shirt. For that, the same URL. We have to pass the product ID with the delete mapping. The same URL, but we have to change the mapping. And that's why we want. We have to change the method, method type. Change the method type to delete. I want to delete third product. Third, what is the third product? Third product is a third product is a uh, T-shirt, right? Let's see what's happening. Since we are uh, deleting a product, I don't want to pass in the request body. Send it. It's deleted. There is no response. Because I am not sending in the response back after deleting the product here. See, it's a void, so it's not sending any response back in the client side. When you look at the database, the third product will not come. We deleted third, right? Yeah, the third product will not come here. See, third is not available here. Now I want to remove all the product. I want to remove all four four product. For that, we need to use products, then delete mapping. We need to use a delete mapping. See, delete mapping. I am delete product. Uh, this one, this one. I am call the delete products. This delete products calls the delete all. Delete all from the product repository method. That that meaning it's deleting the all product from the all product from the uh, product table. Okay. Now I'm going to call this URL. 
by changing the delete delete method all products are deleted because i am returning that value here all products are deleted okay status is 200 when you see the database now nothing will nothing will be everything is gone so now we have implemented resolve web services with crude operation using h2 database this particular project available in, the, in my git repository i have placed that link in my uh, description section download it and work, work it out if you facing any problem please let me know definitely i will help help okay definitely i will help okay friends uh, i'll going to stop this video now the next video is going to uh, see um, how to improve this web services we have implemented the web services it's working fine but this is not a perfect one still we have to improve our coding practice this is not, this is not a uh, right way to implement web services there are some thing we need to improve those improvement will go to see in next class okay please subscribe if you are not yet share this video to your friend circle click bell icon for regular updates Thank you so much for watching this full video. Until next video, bye bye from Suresh Kesaran.